So some uh, kind of breaking news for you guys. Um, Mike Hill, the MP for Hartlepool, has quit with immediate effect. So he has resigned, which will trigger a by-election this year. And this is not good news for the Labour Party. So... Hartlepool MP Mike Hill has resigned with immediate effect prompting prompting a by-election. If you haven't switched to earphones, I would switch to earphones now um, because, uh, you know, them sort of words will pop up. So, last warning. Uh, Mr Hill was due to face an employment tribunal later uh, this year into claims of sexual harassment and victimisation. Um, he has denied the allegations. It is understood an in investigation into the 57-year-old's conduct is ongoing. A spokesperson for the constituency Labour Party said it wanted a candidate in place quickly to start work on sharing, sharing Labour's positive vision, which is unclear at the moment what that vision is. So what, what this means is that there will be a by-election. They're saying it's going to be around the 6th of May. It could be to coincide with um, local and mayoral elections in England. The issue is that it's very likely Labour will lose the seat if we actually look at the kind of uh, the trend here. So 2015, um, they had uh, Ian Wright who won um, you know a decent majority by about 12 points. Uh, 12 percentage points but then if we actually look at you know 2017 um, the candidate Mike Hill won by almost uh, 20 points 18 points but we look at 2019 um, you know he won by a decent you know a decent margin but you know it's 4,000 votes it's around less than 4,000 votes I think um, and the issue is that the Brexit party also ran in that election with, you know, top don Richard Tice. He was one of the head honchos of the Brexit party, and he managed to snipe about 25% of the vote. Had he not run, it's very likely that the Conservatives would have won that seat because uh, Brexit party, you know, did take a lot of Labour voters rather than Conservative voters. So, you know, Labour voters who wanted Brexit, you know, the less said about them, the better. And you can even see that, you know, the UKIP only got 11% of the vote in 2017. However, you know, the Brexit party, which is, you know, kind of newer UKIP, you know, rebranded UKIP, managed to have about 25%. So I think it's very likely if the Conservatives run the right candidate and run a smart campaign, they could actually take this seat from the Labour Party. You know, the Conservative Party, which already have around an 80 seat majority, are going to increase that whilst also taking away from Labour, you know, further weakening Labour's position. And it's going to be very interesting to see what the takeaways are if Labour does lose. It's is it, you know, Keir Starmer's first failure or is it just getting rid of the stench of Corbynism? You know, I don't know which one it, they're going to spin it as. But I think it's very unlikely that the Labour Party will hold on to this seat. Um, especially since they only have a few months to, you know, find a new candidate when the Conservative Party could run this Stefan Houghton guy again. Or Houghton, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, Big Stefan, again, we'll call him Big Stefan. Um, again, so, you know, very bad news for the Labour Party. And um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.